Do we all see this bee? Let me explain what she is doing. She's gathering pollen from all manner of different plants. Here are two local beekeepers looking at female flowers on a willow tree. On the left, there is the male parts of a hazel bush and on the right, there is the female flower which turns into a hazelnut once pollinated. Here we are in front of a busy hive where all the bees are bringing back pollen and nectar they have collected. When a beekeeper opens a hive, this is what they see. Thousands of worker bees, which are only girls, walking about. One of the jobs they are doing is packing the pollen they have collected from flowers into the cells. Why do they collect pollen, you may ask? It's to feed the young bees inside the hive. Bees collect pollen from many different plants, and each plant has a different colour of pollen, as you can see here. Look at all these different colours. Look at all these wonderful colours of pollen collected by your local bees from all the different types of flowers. I think we should look inside a beehive now. This hive is full of wax the worker bees have made. The cells in these frames are not only used to store pollen, but also nectar the bees have collected from flowers. The queen also uses these cells to lay her eggs in, almost 2,000 a day. Here is an example of a very busy queen. She has been laying eggs all over this frame. The small bumps on this frame are male bees. They are bigger, so cannot fit in regular cells. The difficult thing for a beekeeper is finding the queen amongst all these bees. Inside this cell is a baby queen bee sitting in a bath of royal jelly which it is feeding on. Here is the same queen cell which is totally sealed up with wax. The queen will stay in here for 16 days. We can sometimes go into a hive at the same time a queen bee is hatching, as you can see here. Here is the queen being fed by her daughters, looking for somewhere to lay eggs. This is an incredible sight. It's a swarm. There is only one queen bee in here, being protected by 20,000 other bees. You may be wondering why bees swarm. This is because sometimes their home can become too small and they need somewhere else to live. This is a different swarm with 30,000 bees looking for a new home. This is where the beekeeper comes to their rescue. They place a small hive underneath the swarm and shake the bees into it. The beekeeper will then take the hive into an apiary where the bees can live and produce honey. Look how gentle these bees can be. This beekeeper is not getting stung because he is not harming the bees. After a few weeks in the small hive, we move the bees into a much bigger hive where they can grow and produce honey for us. All this honeycomb was made by the workers in this hive, which are the queen's daughters. They will use it to store honey and nectar and the queen will use it to lay eggs in. We now have an almost full hive where bees are ready to fly off into your gardens and collect pollen and nectar from flowers. The queen can be so hard to find, but if you look next to this finger, you can see her long tail. She is walking about this honeycomb where she is constantly fed and washed by her daughters. When she finds an empty cell, she will lay an egg inside it. That egg will take 21 days to hatch and become a new bee. Bees hang together with their legs and create honeycomb in this shape. Young bees make this wax from their bodies and shape it into perfect hexagons. Once the bees have done their job of collecting nectar and turning it into honey, beekeepers harvest it. These frames are taken away so that the honey can be collected. Sometimes children can do this. Here you can see children spinning the honey, which takes very strong muscles. Hopefully one day you can do this and get some of this beautiful honey. Once all the honey has been collected, beekeepers close the hive for the winter. 
This is to protect the bees from wind, snow and rain. They will stay in this hive all winter keeping warm until springtime next year where they will start their life cycle all over again.